Hello, welcome to this brief introduction to the Audio Nav keypad from Storm Interface. This is an assistive technology device which is intended for use by blind, partially sighted, or those with limited dexterity. The keypad device is used to interface with touchscreen terminals, um, such as you would find in an airport check-in application or even in a quick service restaurant application. For those who are for any reason unable to see, read or interact with a touchscreen, this device provides an alternative way to navigate through content that would normally be shown on a visual display. Let's take a closer look at the Audio Nav keypad. It's designed so that it can be mounted from behind a panel permanently installed in the kiosk casing or housing. The keypad can be mounted in two orientations. It can be mounted in landscape format, as you see here, or it can be turned into a portrait format installation. That can be useful if there's not a lot of space available or width available in the kiosk casing. The device consists of a navigation keypad which enables a user to navigate through content displayed on a touchscreen. It also has a jack plug socket that enables a headset to be connected so the device can actually provide audible descriptions of the content on the screen. Let's take a look at the keypad actually connected to a touchscreen kiosk. We see uh, a touchscreen kiosk which has a voting application running actually on the, on the kiosk screen. So someone who is blind or partially sighted or who has limited dexterity can actually approach the kiosk and simply connect their assistive headset to the touchscreen device. So in this case we've got a speaker connected but that's so you, the camera can hear the content. So the first thing to do is for me to set the sound volume when I connect the headset so the camera can hear the audible content. This voting kiosk uses this voting kiosk uses a Storm AVP assistive keypad device. You can adjust the sound volume at any time using the square button above the headphone socket. You can listen to the description of the button layout, or you can go to the voting application by pressing the OK button. OK, we're going to go directly to the voting socket, application a square button to so that the you can see how this keypad is To the right of the headphone socket, used. there are five so buttons. So by pushing the Enter key, In the center, there the is an the OK button with a raised... Keypad. What would you like to do? We start the voting process. There are two process. options. Press the right arrow button to continue to vote and then press the OK button to confirm. Or, to change the speech rate, press the down arrow button twice and then press the OK button to confirm. We're going to change the speed rate, speech rate. Continue to vote. Change the speech rate. What would you like to do? Continue to vote. Change the speech rate. What speech rate do you prefer? There are change the speed to slow, change the speed to normal, change the speed to fast to select, press the OK button. Change the speed to normal to select, press the OK button. What would you like to do? There are two options. Press the right arrow button to continue to vote and then press the OK button to confirm. Or, to change the speech rate, We're press the down arrow button twice and the then press the OK button to confirm. Continue to vote. Please choose who you want to vote for. There are four candidates. So using Use the, the navigation arrow buttons, arrow buttons to find your we're now going candidate. to choose the candidate. Alice Change. Jones, press the OK. Bob Turner, press the OK button to vote for this. Claire Whittle, press the OK button. There are now two options. Press the left navigation button to change your vote, or press the center OK button to confirm your vote. You voted for Claire Whittle. Thank you for voting. Please unplug your headphones, or press... That completes the voting process, and as you can see, that method of navigation can be used to navigate through any application menu-driven system. 
it allows the user to hear what the services, what information is available on that kiosk, to scan through, to, to navigate through those menus and options, and select the option that that person needs to, to use. The particular version of AudioNav that we've been looking at is designed to be permanently mounted into a kiosk panel. But it may be that the assistive device needs to be retrofitted to a kiosk that's already in service in the field. For that reason, we have an alternative configuration of this product. What we have here is a version of the product that's encased in a water resistant and vandal resistant case which is connected remotely to the kiosk. The keypad unit itself can be detached from the stand and passed to somebody in a wheelchair for instance which would enable that person to have access to the menu navigation system. This version of the audio nav keypad can actually be mounted to the case of the kiosk itself. It's a USB peripheral device so it will not change any of the certifications of the host product. The keypads are UL certified and ready to use as a USB peripheral device. The audio nav device is provided in individual packaging and comes complete with its own integrated water seal. This is used to seal the keypad to the back of the operational panel. To connect the audio nav device, you will need a special USB cable available from Storm Interface to connect this to the USB port on the host system.